Welcome to the Protected Data Cloud's Query Tool. This tool gives you easy access to search the Cancer Genome Atlas metadata so that you can put all of the level one data uh, sequence files that you're interested in into an easy to access directory on your virtual machines. The TCGA provides several different metadata fields that may be of interest, such as you know, disease abbreviation, the library strategy, so for example, RNA-seq, uh, miRNA-seq, and things like you know where it was sequenced and and other things that you may be interested to search for instead of having to go and find it on an external tool and manually copy over the the files that you're interested in to use this tool you need to provide it a directory on your virtual machine that you'd like the links to show up in um, here I've just put it in slash temp but you can put it in your home directory or anywhere else in the machine that you would like you then provided a query name. So, for example, today we'll search for ovarian RNA seq data. This name will correspond to the subdirectory that's created under the link directory. So, in the end, your data files will be in slash temp slash ovarian RNA seq. And then you can select the different metadata terms that you'd like to search for. So, since we're doing ovarian RNA seq, I'll select disease abbreviation. If you click in this box, it'll show you all the different options that you have. So, these are all the different uh, cancers that are uh, found in the Cancer Genome Atlas. And it also does autocomplete, so you can start typing and actually find the disease that you're interested in. And since we are interested in RNA-seq today, we'll choose a library strategy. And again, it shows you all the various options available, and we'll select RNA-seq. You may have noticed that down here, a query gets generated, so if you become a more advanced user, you can actually just type your query directly in this box. At this point, we can preview the results and I'll show you all the various analyses in the TCGA that match your search term. Since we're interested in all of them, we'll select all of them. Uh, however, these columns are sortable, so you can actually look at the different values that you might have for the different sample types, for example. So if you didn't want recurrent solid tumor samples, you could unclick those, and they wouldn't be included in the set of data that show up on your virtual machine. So for today, I'll just pretend like I want to not select this one analysis, although I'm sure it's perfectly fine. At this point, once you've selected the analyses that you want to show up in your folder, you can launch the instance with selected results. And you show up at the standard OSDC launch instance uh, console. So here I can select an image I want. Today I'll just do plain Ubuntu and we'll call it ovarian RNA-seq. You can also select which flavor. So for example, if you wanted to do analysis with four cores, you could select large. And then you hit launch to start up your virtual machine. At this point, the VM will boot. After boot, it will then run the query and link the uh, data so you can have easy access. This may take one or two minutes, so please be patient. So once your VM has successfully started, you can SSH to the PDC, which I've already done in this terminal, and then you can SSH directly into that VM that we started up with the query tool. As you remember, we selected slash temp to put our results files in. So if we change directories there, we'll see our ovarian and RNA-seq directory. If we go in there, we'll see two subdirectories. In the metadata directory, there are two files. One is a summary file that should be fairly human, that should be human readable. It shows you the number of analyses found, the number that the query tool linked, and any reasons that some of them may not have been linked. So for example, right at this moment, we're uh, downloading a bunch of the ovarian cancer data so 15 of the files have not completed their MD5 sum, and four of them have not been found on the system. As we move forward, you should expect to see that these not linked reasons to be zero, except for ones that you may have removed yourself. If we look inside the data directory, we'll see all the analysis folders. Um, their names are UUIDs that have been assigned by TCGA. And if you look inside each of these folders you'll find the BAM files that you can perform your analysis over. You may be also interested in the manifest file in the metadata directory. 
this actually contains all the system data that's required to reperform this query, as long as an explicit list of exactly what files and their MD5 sums, so that in the moving to the future, if other people want to replicate your results, you can give this manifest file and they'll know exactly what data you ran your analysis over.